Hey guys, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. Today, we are going to be looking at a new protein that I bought a couple weeks back, and I did a video about it, but I didn't do a taste test. I just kind of showed you what I found and what I bought. So, uh, this morning, I've already had my big breakfast that I had, but I'm going to go ahead and have a little something else because I want to, number one, I want to finally try this, and number two, I wanted to do a video about it so you could kind of experience it at the same time I did. So I bought this uh, a couple weeks back, organic plant protein, and it looks really super duper healthy. Uh, it's, on, it's only got 90 calories, uh, basically doesn't have much anything in it, in, uh, in it. Uh, 16 grams of protein, has three ingredients in it, and uh, it looks really clean and really decent. Now, I know that plant protein is not always uh, looked at as the best protein to, to go to when you're trying to build muscle, but protein is protein, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I know uh, whey protein isolate is looked at as the top of the line. That's what you should be using for protein supplementation. Uh, your best source of protein is just to eat some good lean protein enriched meats which for me uh, is turkey, chicken, and uh, fish. So I'm gonna do a little bit of oats here. Uh, I do one half cup dry oats. And I've got peanut butter powdered peanut butter which is good too I just recently discovered this and this was in that video I did um, it's two tablespoons two tablespoons 50 calories and it gives you six grams of protein that's not a whole lot of protein but I also do a little bit more in two tablespoons so uh, this scoop came out of one of my little protein buckets that I that I emptied so I just use it in there and well I get whatever I get now, I'm not going to be able to necessarily just taste this because I'm putting it in my mix. However, we might do a small little taste test if I can. Uh, it's got a little scoop here. Scoop, scoop, a dupe. It's all really, really powdery. Really powdery. Good grief. What the heck? That's some serious powder going on there. It's cocaine, man. Cocaine. I'm going to taste it. That is an extreme powder. Like, that's powder powder. <laughs> yeah, there is a little veggie you can taste definitely a different taste from that to like a non-flavored like whey type protein you know I think we've all kind of tasted our proteins a little bit uh, without mixing them that's definitely got a mm, it's got a good taste actually it's really sorry I may just eat a scoop of this <laughs> but uh I'll get a scoop and it says, it says two scoops right now it says three dang three scoops two now, I'm not doing exact exact I'm getting them close there we go all right good grief that's powdery Actually has a really decent taste. Not decent as in, oh my god, I want to eat the whole pack, you know, on its own. But it just has a decent, really planty, organic-y kind of taste to it. Now it has total fat, 2 grams, saturated fat, 0 gram, trans fat, 0 gram, cholesterol, 0, sodium, 150, total carbohydrates, 2 grams, dietary fiber, 1 gram, total sugar, 0, included 
Includes zero added, zero grams added sugar, whatever. Protein, 16 grams. Vitamin D, omega, or OMCG, whatever, zero. Which I don't know why they didn't put it if it's zero. But calcium, 79 milligrams or uh, 6%. Iron, 2 milligrams or 10%. How can that be more than that? I don't know. Potassium, 109 milligrams or 2%. I guess maybe that's our, our daily percentage we need or something. I don't really know. I'm not going to pretend I know. Ingredients are organic pea protein, organic quinoa or whatever powder. I don't know how to pronounce that. And natural flavors. That's it. Three things. So that's a interesting, uh, an interesting little protein that... You know you might be interested in guys I found it at Walmart I can't remember where I found it maybe in the cereal aisle I can't remember exactly but it was only ten dollars which ain't too bad it gives you 17 servings so that's not too bad and only 90 calories which is good so I think if you're gonna do and they say you can of course with any of these kind of powders you can do stuff you can blend me smoothies shakes bake me make uh cake muffins and oatmeal bars and all kind of other different stuff uh, and there's a website you can go to and get recipes so really anything in the world do you want to put that in you can put it in your eggs you can put it in uh, whatever you want to put it in that's just the way it goes <laughs> you, you can do that you can put it in your bowl of vegetable soup it don't matter so that's what i've done and I also add, which I know it's not the most healthy choice, but it's calorie free. I use this syrup here and I put a good tablespoon in my oats whenever I make them. And uh, it just gives it that little bit of sweet and goodness. Sweet and goodness. And uh, yeah, I enjoy it. So I'm going to mix this up. And uh, stick in the microwave for a minute and see what we think. I mean, I already know it's going to taste fine. Number one, I got peanut butter powder in there. Can't go wrong with peanut butter. And I just recently discovered that, like I said. and I bought it and I thought it was interesting. So, heck, I got another tub sitting over there. I just went ahead and bought another one. I've gotten to where I buy extra stuff and just kind of get backups. I bought extra protein. I didn't need it yet. I mean, if you're going to the store, you might as well get stuff you need. And, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's, <coughs> yeah, it's the powder on there. You can kind of see the powder. I don't know if that's the peanut butter powder or my powder, or the new, uh, protein. But I got it, I got it pretty thick. I like to have my oatmeal nice and thick. I just feel like it's, or sits a little bit better in my stomach or you know it gives me a little bit more to to chew on <laughs> I guess so yeah that's not a bad price either and I assume that this is good for people maybe that can't have like milk products and stuff you know good to have options it's good to mix stuff up now typically I would eat this uh, before I work out this is pretty much my uh, pre-workout meal however I'm not working out right now I am actually wanting to take a nap before I do my afternoon bus route but uh, yeah so this afternoon I'll actually have another bowl of this with my other protein so, and I typically, not typically, but always, I put a banana, but I'm not going to do that today. Or right now, anyway. Ooh, warm. Warm. So that's some nice thick. <laughs> so that's some thick oatmeal right there, guys. You can taste that protein in here. I mean, I've had so many bowls of this that I know what it tastes like. I know what it should taste like. 
and it does taste a little different. So whatever flavor that that little bit of protein has, that powder, uh, you can taste it. Hmm. All right, guys. I'm going to sign out. I just wanted to kind of do a little taste test of this first time I ever taste it and share it with all my people. So don't be scared to try new things, guys. There's always some interesting stuff to find at your store. All right. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff too. The Body Beatdown with me, Michael, your incredible host. Hope you enjoyed. Also, a very good meal for you. Healthy. You can also put an egg in it. Mix it up. Put it in the microwave. Uh, all kind of good stuff you can do to make that super duper healthy and uh, power your body. All right. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And we'll see you later on the Body Beatdown. Now I'm going to eat. See you later. Bye. Say ya. Uh... Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. <laughs>